House Speaker or not, Keanu says he'll follow what the president wants. Are the odds on the side of Tegic City Pateros 1st District bet Alan Peter Keanu to be the next House Speaker? Keanu, who aspires to be House Speaker, said Friday, March 29 that he met with presidential daughter and Davao City Mayor Sara Dudrit in December to discuss his plans for the House Speakership. But he said he was told to follow what President Rodrigo Duterte would say on the speaker post. Sia, Sara Duterte, Namas Monag Sabi Nateong Lahat, Kung Anan Sabi Hining Pangulo, Yunang Sundan Naden. Yundan Ang Assurance Kosakanya. Publicly. Sign Nabi Nianashi will leave it up to the parties and to the president, Keanu said at the sidelines of their proclamation rally. It was she who said that we should all follow what the president said. That's what I assured her too. Publicly, she said she will leave it up to the parties and to the president. In November 2018, both the president and Sara called re-electionist Maranjic representative Lord Alan Velasco the next speaker in the 18th Congress. On March 19, Sara also endorsed the bid of late 1st District Representative Martin Romualdez as House Speaker. Sara later clarified that the next speaker is up to the 18th Congress. Keanu disregarded other House Speaker aspirants' endorsement and said that it's the natural course of events, as Sara was speaking at the campaign rally of regional party Hukbongang Pag Babago in Tacloban City. Congress is independent. So in one way, we're free to choose our leader. On the other hand, it's a coalition of parties. And the majority of the coalition is very supportive of the president. And the head of P2P is our president. Definitely what he says would carry much more weight, Keanu said. Despite talking to the presidential daughter, Keanu said he did not ask for her to endorse his bid for speaker. Ako mismo, Hindi ko hinani na enderso niya ko. Sapat na siya kin na hindi niya ay asya kin. I came to her paramaslabus niya ko makalawa, he said. I do not ask for her to endorse me. It's enough that she does not hate me. I came to her so she can know me better. Roadblock to speakership? Alan and his wife Lonnie are facing petitions at the Commission on Elections, COMLEC, for their congressional candidacies to be cancelled, for declaring different addresses in their Certificate of Candidacy, COC, despite being spouses. Allen said that the petition filed against them wants his House Speakership dream to be crippled. Daddy Akong Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Asawa Co-Mayor. Capated Co-Congresswoman. Back at Nunluma Ben Coming Gan, Big Lang Dynasty. Kazi Kasama na Yansigamagawa ang issue sa speakership di ba? Si I'm Bramaraming Gusthang to Magburin na speaker. Magwahanapdin ang issue, Alan said. I was the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. My wife was mayor. My sister was congresswoman. 
Nobody said we were a dynasty. Why only now when we ran, was called a dynasty. That's part of making an issue about the speakership, right? Of course, a lot wants to run to be house speaker. They will look for issues. On Friday, Kay Anna denied that their clan is a political dynasty, and said that it was merely democracy and the votes of the people that placed them in their elective posts. If chosen as House Speaker, Kay Anna said he would be pushing the extension of service for congressmen, either scrapping of term limits and make it four-year terms each, or five years of service for three consecutive terms. House Speaker Gloria McBigal Arroyo is on her last term as Pampanga's 2nd District Representative. Her term ends this year. PDP Laban, the President's National Political Party, is grooming seven of its members to take the House Speakership. They are the following. Lord Alan Velasco, Marinjic. Ronald Samara, San Juan. Alex Sitvincula, 3rd District, Cavite. Bamble Dolentino, 7th District, Cavite. Ricky Sandoval, Malabon. Lucy Torres, 4th District, Late. Aurelio Gonzalez Jr., 3rd District, Pampanga. But Kano said that whatever the president wants him to do, he will follow being a good soldier. He said he's secured and he knows his standing inside the Duterte administration. I'm sure Hindi ago I lala gay dido ang pangula na wala sa iang plano. Ngay and kung i plano niya para sa akin, kami na magyong zap. Pero ok para n sa akin yun and whatever happens Hindi ko pag size an na babla ka ko para i serve ton constituency na to, kay ano said. I'm sure the president won't place me here without a plan. Now, whatever plans he has for me, we will talk about it. But it's okay. Whatever happens, I will never regret serving this constituency.